So folks, welcome back to another painting time lapse. Thank you for joining me today and if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. I hope today that you enjoy this painting time lapse. I'm painting Merchant's Bridge in Greater Manchester, which is in Castlefield. And this bridge bounces when you walk on it, which I love. I don't know why I just have to add that in. Anyway, <laughs> I think this bridge was built back, I think it was built, don't hold me to it, but this bridge was built back in 1995, 96. But I'm painting it at night time which at, at a certain time of night this bridge gets quite mysterious and when I say that it just has when you walk around Castlefield at a certain time of night not that I go lurking in dark areas of, of the city <laughs> but I've, I've been in Castlefield at, at a certain time of night when when the bridge is lit and it has an almost eerie atmosphere to it and a sort of haziness to this bridge making it I don't know, Art artists see things differently and I hope that somebody can kind of agree with me on that. I um, I just feel that it, ha it holds its own with its own atmospherical vibe. Not only did I decide on painting Merchant's Bridge, I actually decided to paint the entire landscape of it at night, which meant that I had to include the canal boats and the the architecture that sits behind the bridge. Um, I could have just painted this from another angle and life would have been a hell of a lot easier, but uh, your girl didn't do that, did she? She went extra on this, <laughs> um, which... At one point I was kind of kicking myself because I was like, Jess, why are you doing this to yourself? Because it's my second time, as some of you guys know, will know from the, the last video that I did of painting Manchester, um, that it's my second time painting architecture, which is a whole different ball game on its own. Like, it, it is difficult if you, if you are only just putting your feet in the water with architecture, it can be quite strenuous. So this was hard terrifying and then I finally got to a point where everything just sort of flowed after that and I felt that painting this piece was more of a mental game rather than just getting the paintbrushes on there and painting what I saw. It was more of the mentality of trying to hold it together um, just by accepting that this can go really really wrong and in the end you might have to put it on the back burner Jess but no I carried on I plodded on um, and I got through it and I know that I'm making this sound like oh so dramatic but it's true architecture is so difficult to paint and to master but I think I did an overall pretty good job of this like it ended up looking how I wanted it to look I ended up looking as close as to the reference photo as I could get to it so yeah and it's my first time painting a painting this size like this large on a wood panel so yeah the pressure was totally on and for the past like two weeks now all I've done is admin for like every day of the week so I've had to work on this piece at night just to be able to run my business in the day it's been quite strenuous if I'm honest but I think this kind of gave me that something that I needed of a night time to plod through all the admin side of things and I hope that I hope that some artists out there if you're listening can resonate with this because artists don't just have a nine to five job okay we have a nine to three a.m gone in the morning job at times we we don't stop some of us don't stop <laughs> at least that's what I found for the past few weeks of working on this piece but yeah, I'm kind of over that hurdle now of it being terrifying to paint architecture because you can just block in the colours from the get-go and once you've blocked in all the colours and got over that messy stage you realise all of the intimidating things that you thought in your head fall away and you're able to approach a painting with more ease knowing that after you've blocked in all of your values, your darks, your mid ranges and your lights. Once you have done that and you just start on working on all of the tiny details, everything kind of flows. So if you have a negative feeling before approaching a painting or a drawing or any creative endeavour, 
Just know that you're sort of already setting yourself up for failure from the get-go because you're putting more pressure on yourself and that's the way things do tend to sway and go wrong. So I had to just remain in that mental clarity, just being completely present with the piece with no judgment and just sort of let it unfold. It's kind of like subconsciously like looking at the reference and then turning it into what I see as an artist and again it goes back to me just wanting to achieve that the feeling of what I get when I when I do walk around Castlefield at that time of night. I mean guys this is the best way that I can explain it is that to not not overthink things don't overwork yourselves to the point where you are setting yourselves up for failure it's there's no when you're painting there's no future there's no past there's just the here and the now There's a very realistic approach in my work ethic when it came to painting this piece in particular. I found that my work ethic changed a little bit to the point where I was trying to tighten things up so much to the point where when you step back from the painting from like a meter distance you can see that it emanates the photographic vibe but then you get really really close and on top of this painting and you can see the brush strokes. So I really wanted to not, not so much want, but had the intention from the get-go of having that balance between painterly and realistic. Overall, time just fell away. This painting took hours upon hours. If I showed you guys the real version, wow. Um, we, we'd be here for hours, like, yeah, like I say, a very long time. <laughs> um, how long you got? <laughs> um, but yeah, this that's um, all I can ex that's the only best way that I can explain this um, to everyone is that this was more about the process than anything, and I ended up being really happy with the results. And I know that seems like an egocentric thing to say, but sometimes you know it's good to give ourselves a clap on the back because not everybody's gonna clap for you <laughs> when you've done something good. Just be proud of the little things in life today. And those things, you don't have to pay for those things. That, that just comes with experience. Enjoy your experience while you're here right now. And if you're trapped in your mind, the mind is constantly thinking, your mind is either on the future or on the past. And with painting, there is no future. And like I say, there's no past because you're so present with the piece that there's a form of meditation going on. There's, we're all, you're at one with yourself. All right, that's enough of the Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi talk. <laughs> I guess I'll speak to you all in the next video because it's all I got for today. Um, thank you for listening if you've got this far in the video and hopefully I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye folks. <laughs>
each other and the things we do It's all so blue Yeah, what if we could grow just like the flowers through the concrete Just you and me